Uh, I guess tips for the for the home countries teams for Scotland and England and Wales and Northern Ireland um, at the Commonwealth Games in, in, in Birmingham this year. I think it's to try and I guess keep that momentum going um, post pandemic when you've had that big break and you haven't had lots of competition. It's trying to get back into the swing of things and dealing with the, the, the big occasion because training is one thing, but competing with a crowd and with an atmosphere on that one day is another challenge altogether. But that's what athletes love and I'm sure they'll be relishing the challenge and looking forward to, to Birmingham in 2022. Yeah, I, th I guess uh, well, one of the big names in the Scotland team for the Commonwealth Games will be John Archibald. Um, you know, he's he's kind of known as Katie's brother, but he's a an incredible athlete in his own right because of, you know, he's won medals at world level and Commonwealth level. Um, a fantastic individual pursuiter. That's his real strength, I think, and he'll be looking to try and uh, to to claim that gold medal in Birmingham this year. Um, and there'll be a lot of Scottish fans down there, I'm sure, to support him too. So, yeah, fingers crossed he can he can do it for. For Scotland. I think Katie Archibald has to be one of the, the big favourites um, at the Commonwealth Games or she's one of the favourites wherever she goes because she's such a, an accomplished athlete and she absolutely loves the big stage. Um, the bigger the better. Olympic champion, world champion, Commonwealth champion. She just wants to keep winning medals so yeah she will definitely be one of the, the big names to watch out for. Tom Pidcock has, has become a, a bit of a phenomenon in, in the cycling world. He really is um, I mean, there, there's there's big names and there's there's superstars, but he's kind of elevating himself into another category altogether. He's so talented, the potential to to win in almost anything that he goes for. Um, he just loves riding his bike, and that's what's great to see. He loves doing the cyclocross, the mountain biking, the road. The challenge will be how he combines them all together. Um, we saw how amazing he was in Tokyo, um, but I guess yeah, the challenge will be. It's not just about getting on the bike and racing. You have to train very specifically for each individual event. Um, but if anybody can do double up and do mountain biking and road, it's Tom. So um, yeah, the fans love him and they, they love seeing him compete. Always exciting. And uh, yeah, he'll definitely be one of the big names to watch. I think there's a, a really bright future for, for GB cycling. Um, you know, you look at the, I guess they've, they've had the, the success for a number of years now and that, that pulls through younger talent. They, they, they're inspired by what they see, but they also believe they can do it too. Um, and that's half the battle is, is the, the belief that you are able to, to, to become a champion yourself um, and if you can see it you can do it so we've had lots of role models for, for the younger generation and we're seeing that happening now this, this next generation coming through with the belief with the, the ability with the facilities um, and uh, it just it's about doing it on the day when it counts.